Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Okay, you weren't wrong. There is purple also on her legs, too, so it does look like the... the gravity suit. It's the gravity suit! Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no. uh -huh. Ad Admiral Dan's Ready gonna get mad at me and yell at me every time I start the no, 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 Alright, alright. Yes, I, 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 I needed a break, okay? We need you to disable this defense system. I'm getting there! I'm working on it! You're gonna work on my time! Look, I'm the one that took out the other bounty hunters. I'm the one who got here first. Admiral Dane, do I tell you how to do your job? Are we being mansplained? Or are we just being yelled at? I think we're just being hurried along. But I'm, but I'm busy. I'm doing things. It's all a part of the process. Just tell your men to stand by. I can't wait until we completely ignore him after we hear the words, hurry it up, sweetheart. No one does that. Very pleased on that. No one does that. I think the most, uh, I think Gandrain has been the most, uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> condescending to us. Coming at us with a Sammy. How dare. She didn't even give us a sandwich. Not even Adam did that. Probably because he knows his rank is on the line <laughs> if he ever tried that crap. Scraping against the sides like that, it can't, it can't be good. Look, it's got eyes and nose, an open mouth and pain. Almost looks like a pig. Guys, I think we need water for hydroplaning. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's getting the equivalent of constant rug burns <laughs> just going across. <laughs> ah! I should have walked. <laughs> You're gonna walk 30 miles to the next air? Well, yeah, to save my knees. Ooh. Probably the coolest door they've ever made. Better knock my socks off. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you would be correct. You would be correct. There's your socks. Oh, thank you, thank you. They just blew off. I think one of them still. St yep, still stuck to the wall. Okay, yeah, blew my socks off. Alright, small detour. Let's head back to the first floor. Starting to look familiar yet? A little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are we are so totally back, dude. Open that door and step into this elevator. That's broken. But 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 missile tank. You're right. But missile tank. So we'll just uh send that drop yes. in. Yes! Oh, hey, sir sir, do hey, you mind? Hey. I'm trying to do something. You are interrupting me. <laughs> that was the elevator repair bot. Oops. There we go. That was an easy one. That's where we got the map. And let's head back up to the third floor. Back up. I said oh, third floor. Oh, uh, you, you done did the finger wrong. Have you ever pressed the wrong button on the, ele on the elevator sometimes? All the time. I mean, they're not so bunched together that that's a problem, like, he like it is here, but... Eh. There we go. Were you ever that jerk that pressed every button? Why are you? No. That's why I was curious. Because I just remember that scene from Elf where he just goes, <gasps> they light up, and then <laughs> and presses every button. But, oh, hello. Ah, the pirates kind of know we're here. Now they're just going to be kind of willy-nilly attacking us. But we can be in the acid rain now, so... I'm surprised they don't know the score yet. My Phazon shot up pretty high there, I see. I saw that, yeah. yeah. You were taking a lot of damage. That's okay, though. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, we got it, we got it. There are faces all over this architecture. Okay, you know how some people can see can see the Virgin Mary in their coffee or something like that? I see faces everywhere here. That's that's called something. I forgot what it's called. I... Post-text, what's that thing where you can see faces in, 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 in yeah, inanimate objects? Yeah, you can objects? see things in things. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing. I, lo I love that, because that's, that's always fun. Yes. You, you, you look at the world in a different viewpoint. Well, it's the same people that see the opposite uh, delusion. Can you see both optical illusions if presented with a specific one? I try to see both. There's like a 
my brain's usually good at, at uh, discerning both. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously your brain will will uh, adhere to one, first of all. It'll latch onto the fur to one that makes the most sense to your brain, and then you kind of have to, not exactly squint, but you pretty much have to look at it a different way. Did you ever see the one with, like, the, the rotating figure? Yes. Is it rotating clockwise or counterclockwise? Oh, that one's so weird because it takes a moment for your brain to go, uh, uh, uh. I, yeah. see, I see it in both. Like, I have to look really hard. Like, I have to really train my brain to have it face uh, counterclockwise. And then when that happens... Shit, I can't go back. Yeah. There's an entire subreddit based on optical illusions, and every now and again I'll go back to it and just be like, Oh, yes, my brain needed this, but also screw you. Oh, I, I, I love optical illusions. They're so it's, cool! It's like, your eyes and your brain are stupid. <laughs> Because they're so easy to fool. Well, that's also like the, do you see this special image in the picture? Where, uh, you know, you kind of have to cross your eyes in order to see the picture. Magic Eye is a scam. They're Mag still interesting. Magic Eye is a fucking scam. Well, whatever, all right? Never, never understood them. Kept me entertained as a kid. Gotta love the ones that they had in the in the Sunday comics. Where the, where the print quality was, was shite, so you don't even know if they're fucking working or not. Yeah, I see something. Oh, cool. What do you see? 144p? It's a splotch of, like, I, I think I got a hole to appear once. But it never, it, it never appeared as an image. Right? And this is why print media is going away. Because they can't do magic eye puzzles. If you could have done magic eye puzzles, oh, man. Every, every Gen Z would have a newspaper right Newspaper now. saved. <laughs> If that's all it took to actually save the newspaper, I'd be very surprised. Oh, lore. Disaster at Elysia. Oh, dear. I love these kinds of things. The march of the hunter continues, much to our dismay. She has smashed through our line at Elysia, taken down Commander Gore in the process. The curse of Elysia's machines were no match for Arian's guns, and now the Federation has control of the spy station once again. It is only a matter of time before they find the location of the Phazon source and send their fleets to lay siege. Our great leader does not seem to mind these setbacks. If Samus comes to our homeworld, she will find us ready. A rare log that's written currently, not in the past. We're finding a present log. One of my favorite things about reading over the logs again and revisiting the Prime series is how the pirates see us. It's like, ha, well, we're gonna do everything right. And there's no way that, oh god, is that Samus Aran? Fuck! It's definitely a different take on the power fantasy. We're still getting the fantasy part. It seems more gradual instead of, you know, just strictly, oh hey, here you are, Mr. or Mrs. Badass. It just seems like it builds. It feels like we've earned it, too. It's like, oh no, she's killing everything! It's almost like we're becoming the legend. Uh oh. Oh. Well, hi, guys! Well, uh, they just activated their security system, and now that door is not opening for a long, 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 long time. I'm the woman, the myth, the legend! What's going on, man? You're gonna wish I stayed in your storybooks. <laughs> After that, they ship they ship out a whole bunch of crawl tanks. Oh, that's cute. Wow, crawl tanks? In this economy? Holy crap. And then two more. But this one, they inadvertently create a little door for me. Uh -oh. Fools! The fools! They've doomed themselves! Wait, you did what? Yo, she can go into holes that small! Purification. Oh, this should be good. Our great leader with the aid of our captured Aurora unit has discovered many of Phase's secrets. Dark Samus can now command the living world to send forth Phase on seeds. She was eager to test this new power. When we heard the first world to receive this blessing was our homeworld, we rejoiced. The seed was sent in the void and quickly made its way to our homeworld. Our brethren foolishly tried to repel, to, to repel it, but their efforts were in vain. To think, once we were as pathetic as them. Now the deed is done and slowly our homeworld be becomes like phase. Soon there will be two living planets, two phase on sources for our great uh, leader to... to oh it's, dear. It's two phases! She's gonna do to this place what she almost did to Dark Aether! Creating a second living planet on mold cancer. I mean, what's worse than one tumor? Two of them! 
Yikes. Two tumors of space cancer floating around the, the universe. Yikes. Oh, that's great. All right, well, open that door. Cool. Oh, shortcut. We need, we need, we need to stop this lady right away. She's not making things easy. She has been kind of non-present throughout most of this game. She's kind of showing up to laugh at us for killing our friends. You know, I just was thinking about that after the past couple episodes we've been doing. We haven't seen her in a hot minute. I think she's chilling like like Ganon right now at the second half of Ocarina of Time. Just yeah, kinda... exactly. It's just biding his time or biding her time. I think she's like got got that uh, Tetsuo cloak on. You know, she's <laughs> sitting on a throne, just absorbing Phazon into her body. Just sitting there thinking, plans going to court. Uh, oh, everything is going according to plan. Until you get to me! Oh, she's awake? Cool. Also according to plan. <laughs> Alright, now we're heading to some place called the Pirate Mines. Even more mines. Even more mines. Alright, alright. I mean, what's worse than more Phazon? More Phazon. More Phazon. More, more Phazon. It's like, okay, you infected our planet to make it like Phazon, but let's keep digging in our planet for the Phazon that it's, that's being created. Perfect. This is just one big capitalist story. I can't believe Retro would do this. Dig more. More product for me. If you're really desperate, which you might be if you're using hyper mode a lot, save station here. They always seem to be in the perfect spot, so I wonder how many people tested this. And we're just like, oh yeah, we need a save station here. Well, they got a lot they got good level designers here. See These guys know how to make games, did you know? I've always been curious about the game tester part of the entire experience. Because those people are like they're forced to play the game normally. Well, they're told to play the game normally, but then, you know, when you have a tester that just fucks around and breaks it, that's a good thing. I think there's also, like, testers as well as designers, as well as designers who test their games and all that. Right, 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 you gotta play your product. And whatever these guys do, they, they do it well. Makes me really want to jump back into Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. But I just... I just can't dedicate the time. I haven't, I haven't had the time. It's a lot shorter than most of the games you're playing right now, I I'll give it that. I don't know how to play the game. No, I don't mean that, like, like I'm, I am unsure how to go about playing the game. Do I play as Donkey Kong and play it as it was, as it meant to be, or play it with Funky Kong, because why the hell not? I'd say just play the game however you see fit. I don't know how to do that, though! Is it with Donkey or Funky? I can't tell! Be cranky, then! Just pogo stick your way through the entire game. Maybe I'll just say the hell with it and jump into it, but I've got too many things like Funky Kong! Well, since this is not 2023, you might have a small opening in your schedule for some of these games. No, it's 2024. Now it's filled with uh, infinite wealth and... Well, mostly infinite wealth right now. But that will eventually end. The infinite wealth is just a... a thought. No, how, how, how about uh, Apollo Justice? The Apollo Justice Trilogy? Let's, uh, let's give me 16 Ace Attorney cases to go through, yeah? Well, knowing how much dialogue is in those, you might be there for a couple months. So now, not counting this, I have two retro games on my list. Ah, uh, shit. I haven't gone through Metroid Prime Remastered yet. I, I haven't finished it yet, I just got the flamethrower. But the way I see it, if I want to play a Metroid Prime game, how about the one that I'm doing for work? I was I was just thinking, this is on your list of games to beat. I love it. Remastered is actually. Oh, you beat- oh, I, ha I haven't- You did beat this I have not beat- time. Yeah, I, I beat this in 2007, I have not beaten Metroid Prime Remastered yet. That's okay. I just got the flamethrower. I haven't either! <laughs> I'm actually loving this. You gotta mine the phase on in order to make your way forward. That is super hot, though, from the looks of it. That might be fuel gel. Oh, good. But even if it is, it does, it, A, it doesn't do any damage at all. And if it did, we got the hazard suit, so it wouldn't, you know, anyway. You know, a suit that blocks all hazards is almost too perfect. I love it. 
I think I'd love to see it. Is that pan too hot? Nah, just don't worry, I got the hazard suit on. It's either that or it got hyper-cooled. Because right now it looks perfectly that, jumpable. That might be hyper-cooled then. Because that was distinctly orange when it was first cut. Very. Oh yeah! Jesus! <laughs> you just ripped those things off the hinges, I love it! Alright, up we go. Gotta unlock this uh, elevator. There's lock number one. <gasps> that was satisfying. The sudden... <laughs> yes. And... I know we were talking about how mechanical things just make us go, Ooh, that's nice. That's, a, that's the first thing I noticed when playing all these uh, Prime games again. It's like, man, everything just, just clicks and looks so good and looks so nice. <laughs> oh, yeah! Okay, yeah, that did it. <laughs> That looked great! Donk. And we can screw attack back up if we need to. And I got some lore, too! Lure! Vanguard! Oh, boy. The time has come. Our leader commands we go to war at last. Oh. Three worlds will be attacked, each important to the Federation. We shall destroy the spy base at Elysia, the fuel production at Brio, and the naval station at Norian. Each of those wretched worlds will become as phase, each a foothold into the territory of the hated Federation. From those worlds, our vanguard will go forth. At long last, our enemies will be humbled and enslaved. Three Phazon seeds will be sent, and an armada will accompany each of them. Dark Samus herself will lead the attack on Norian. Victory is ours for the taking! That didn't happen, did it? Yeah, so this was clearly written before the last log we read, where the guys were like, she woke up, she fought back, uh-oh. Oh, well, that's a funny yellow. Oh! Excuse me! Can I help you? This is a Phazon Harvester drone. It oh. is invincible. Oh. But it can be overloaded. You can shoot this blue ball under here, and they'll be like, oh, overloaded, overloaded. Oh, did she shoot the big glowing thing? I told you we should have painted over it, not make it as glowing. Why didn't you put a, a like a sneeze guard over it or something? Don't we have the, those hazard suit things we could have put over the? Take a piece of wall and put a bit over, put it right around it, and it's fine. Big old slab of metal just on this thing. Come on. So what happens when you put all your points into military and nothing in science? Or charisma, or, or anything worth a damn. Yeah, so, are, are these pirates, oh. like, like what, what are their stats looking like? Because they're not the smartest bunch. They're, they're just aggressive and violent and warlike. I'd say they're closer to goblins than anything else. It's, it's like, they're, they're, they're nothing but a bunch of always eternally pissed off wasps. So they and the war wasps have a lot to talk about. That, that, that's the way I see them. They're, they're nothing but a bunch of angry, pissed off wasps. Yeah, I'm sure they're dangerous. I'm sure they can be deadly sometimes. But they're more like an annoyance and they're like easy to, 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 to put down. Well, they also got a new queen recently, so maybe they're still adapting to that. Maybe. But this is like if European hornets uh, went into a Japanese wasp nest or something. Yeah. yeah. I love this one. Victory and loss. <laughs> Today is a day of celebration and woe. Our oh. forces have taken Planet Brio, leaving the Federation outposts there and cinders. Though we missed their spy base in Elysia, the planet itself was struck with the Phazon Seed. But Norian... Norian was a failure. <laughs> All thanks to the accursed hunter, Samusan. Yeah! All is not lost, however. Our great leader defeated Eren and her Mongol allies in battle. If they aren't dead, they'll soon wish they were. Each of them bears her mark of corruption. Soon they, like we disciples, will bow to her will. So that was the plan, huh? Well, <coughs> not yet, <coughs> anyway. Fighting, resisting, this is what I do. I think I saw some tendrils of Phazon going over her face now. That's not looking good. Nope. It's getting worse. Uh, I, d I, d I don't know what the... I, d I, I, I want that. I want it. I want it. Give. No give idea mine. what it is, but I want it. Give mine me. I hope it's a power bomb. Can't go through that door. Or a super missile. Can't go through that door. All we can do is just boop on there. New door for the new whatever that is. I want it! I want it. Not without a fight, though, of course. I want it! 
This is just what she's saying throughout the entire fight. I want it, I want it, I want it. This is the drill fight. No, I don't mean we're fighting off a low-res uh, picture of Jack Nicholson. It's an actual driller. So a whole bunch of pirates have come in here, and uh, they're, of course, really super-powered. Hyperbeam, all but one. Interesting tactic. Kill all but one. I'm guessing they respawn if you kill all of them too quickly. Stay them alive for now. Until the drill stops. Then it's gonna start sucking things in. When that happens, kill the last one. Shoot those lights! Take out all four of those lights and you win. Wait, really? That was it? Well, we got three, three more lights oh, now. Oh, okay, okay. Because when they immediately went back, I didn't see any of them, so I thought you killed them all already. That's pretty fun. This can be a bit of a tricky fight. Because there's a lot of enemies, they're very powerful, you need to go into hyper mode a lot. Oh, just a quick old balancing act. Ah! See ya! Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, this isn't too bad. Seems doable, seems fun, actually. Just gotta... You gotta use your hyper mode wisely. So, if you inject an energy tank and they immediately shoot you, is that game over? Because of full corruption? Uh, they, they could probably uh, snipe you a couple of times, I'm sure. But I think uh, going from white to red is a. Uh, there might be some, uh, some cooler job. I don't know. Okay. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Doing okay, I think there's just one more light. That literally means we have a boss fight where there are four lights! What well, is uh, very similar to the Metroid Hatcher fight we just had. There are four tentacles! Alright. No, 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 no! Suck it in, no, and there you go! No. See ya! Boom! Alright, there we go. Now I want... I don't know if anybody mentioned this, but I want... Fortunately, I a want. whole bunch of, uh... Ooh, killed 20 commandos. Oh, they're throwing commandos our way, Jesus. I want... Quick sweep of the thing, get get some of our energy back. All good, all good. Super there. missile. Looking great. Super missile. Nope. Well, I need super, but we have hyper missile. Plasma beam. No, we already have the plasma beam. Shit. Wave beam. Nope. Power bomb. Nope. The uh, the Nova beam. Oh. Our love is like a supernova. Yeah, I never would have gotten that. Ooh, that's a nice beam. Ah, shit, that's a nice looking beam. It feels quiet, but if it's powerful too. You can shoot right through phase on. Phaseite, I guess. Uh, yep. Nope. Uh, what? Uh, there. There we go. And there. And there we go. And, and there. Uh, there we go. That's, that's just lovely. So now, I think we have everything. Pardon? I think we have everything. All like the upgrades and everything? I think I think we're about good on all the upgrades. I think the Nova Beam is a good one to end on. New colored beam and it just shoots through things. Which means that unless if I'm mistaken, <gasps> very well might be. 75%? I think uh, we can we can uh, start backtracking and getting all the all the pickups now. It just seems like we just started. <laughs> I know. It's because this game is so well paced. Well, also, all the other Metroid Prime games have been roughly around this amount of episodes, so I'm down. We, st we still got plenty to go, don't worry. 
It's not like we're, not like we're, so we're saying goodbye tomorrow or anything like that. Still got a lot to do still. Look, I have trust issues after you sprung Metroid Other M's ending out of fucking nowhere. Oh, you mean the one where they uh, give you credits and all that and say, oh, you, you came back, you want to keep playing? Well, okay. Why, idiot? Alright, opens that way, but now we can actually begin backtracking. Start getting all the collectibles on all the planets. Done deal. And all it took was a nice green bee. What the hell? That's <laughs> it. See the grab ledges or little finicky. Yeah, you know, gotta put put the Wii remote up, but don't put it too far up, otherwise it's gonna you know go out of go go out of, go out of signal. Little bit finicky. All right, all right. Lock it in. Come on, get up. The thank you, Samus. Thank you, Samus. All right, okay. All right, thank you, Samus. Thank you, thank you for thank cooperating you. with thank me you. finally. All right. So can I just say one thing regarding uh? Other M and the other Metroid games we played. Mm -hmm. I don't remember a goddamn thing about Metroid Other M. <laughs> Maybe that's for the better. Do you remember anything about Prime 1, 2, and 3? Specific things, yeah. Remember anything from Other M? I mean, we fought Fantoon. That was it? Do you remember the big gigantic forklift, forklift we fought? <laughs> don't you remember the Ridley fight? Tell me, we, tell me we had Ridley's, Ridley's final fight ever in the series, ever. and you don't even remember? Ever! Wow. It's almost like it was a terrible idea or something, or something that wasn't really thought out all too well. Like, I'm just thinking about it in my head. I was like, how did that go? I don't remember. Not very well, I'll tell you that much. We got a missile in here. And believe it or not, a tad bit of lore. Lure. Lure. Lee. Brio Falls. Yeah. Command has received disturbing reports from Brio. Contact with our outpost there has been terminated. A coded blip trans showed Commander Rundus falling in battle to Samus has arrived. Worst of all, the Brionian seat has been demolished. The Hunter's might is great, and she is efficient as ever when it comes to disrupting our operations. Our spies within the Federation tell us she travels to Elysia soon. We plan on having an appropriate welcoming party in place for her when she arrives. Commander Gore is a very accommodating host. <laughs> yeah, about that. And then we, we get the one where it's like, fuck, shit, no, God, why? And that's the only thing in the log. <laughs> fuck. No, 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 no. no, no. no. All right. Oh, this is another landing pad. It is indeed. Just gotta clear all the bullshit. Yeah, that's all. Get all this slag out of here. There we go. Yeah. Now, before we break, there is just one thing I want to get. Just one? Yep. I'm only allowing you one. We're going to be going to uh, other planets and probably cleaning up a lot of things from here on out. But before we go, I want to get one last thing from Pirate Homeworld. It's not a new toy, it's just another pickup, but one that we can get. It's still something. It's still something. So what are your thoughts so far on Metroid Prime 3? Uh, you weren't kidding when you said it was extremely linear. Not a bad thing, though. N not a bad thing. I mean, I would have I would have liked a bit more exploration, but I think they they overcorrected from Prime Two. I'd say. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Like, um, it still has Metroid Prime. It's still its heart and soul. Mm -hmm. Nothing has drastically changed. Right. And you know, if I were playing this alongside you, which I probably should, honestly, I should toss in the game, play alongside. To play, it's play a good game. Yeah, I think I would have a good time. You whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, sorry, so, still trying to get used to the tubes. It's got some butt clenching moments in here when she's piloting. Jeez. Ah! What? Oh, God. That's where she gets her thrills these days. <laughs> Just driving recklessly. I don't have any more space pirates to fight. Just fucking whip that bitch around. This one's pretty simple. Just gotta go to the processing access. Or is it the accessing process? Whatever. Processing access. Random access memory. Read only memory. We've come to 
Oh, hi, guys! You're up all night for good fun? I'm up all night to get lucky. I'm up all night to get phase on. I'm up all uh, night to get phase no, on. No, no. We're up all night to get phase on. No, wait, don't. We're up all night. Stop, stop. No. You don't know why? Because phase on will make you harder, better, faster, stronger. I heard that song the other day, the, uh, the lucky song, and I was just like, oh, hell yeah. I gotta say, though, if they did, I can't wait for Metroid Prime 4, them to come back together and make it, and make a Metroid game. One more time. That's so when it comes out. We're gonna celebrate, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, can't stop the dancing. One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, yeah. alright, can't stop, stop the, the, the phase on. Oh, no, wait. I'll, st I'll stop the phase on. Oh yeah, alright. Okay, that was very mechanical and very appealing to my eyeballs. And then it's gonna. Metro Prime 4 is gonna get like 9s, 10s out of 10s, perfect scores from everywhere. It's gonna show that Retro will be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing, we'll be feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing, we'll be doing all right. Everybody. That was actually the perfect song for using the screw attack bouncing back and forth. Three <laughs> missiles. Two. Three. That's it. For a ship missile expansion. Hell yeah, worth it. Okay. Now we're done. For now. So, so, how, so how I'm pretty sure the next couple of, of episodes are going to go. We're going to be backtracking and getting all those collectibles. You know what? I'm down. But we may not be able to get all the log notes, or well, not, not the log notes, but uh, the extras at the end, you know, all the galleries. Because I told you about all these medals, right? Yeah, yeah. The red medals, the blue medals, the yellow medals. Achievements. Achievements and all that take these medals and use it to exchange for uh, all the bonus content. But the thing is, you need green medals as well, and we haven't gotten a single green medal. I thought we killed a certain number of enemies. And got oh, no, medal. no. We've got friend vouchers, but what you do is you take those vouchers and you send them to a friend over Wii who also has a copy of Metroid Prime 3, and then when they do that, that's when you get your friend medals. That's when you get your green medals, which you can use to actually buy most of the stuff. Hmm. It is a stupid way of doing things, and I'm very upset that they did it this way. But next time on Metroid Prime 3, it's time to begin the backtracking! We'll see ya then! Woo!